Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Um, we're having technical difficulties again. Um, and uh, it comes from Daily Ohm, Personal Harmony, Balance. Like pieces of a puzzle, the many different aspects of your being come together to form the person that you are. And we have many different aspects as people, you know, from the spiritual to the mental to the emotional to the physical. Um, you work and play, or at least you should. Uh, rest and expend energy, commune with your body and soul, exalt and joy, and feel sorrow. Now, not everybody communes with their body and soul, but they should. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Balance is a state that you achieve when all of the aspects of your life and self are in harmony. Um, and it's hard to have everything perfect in harmony, but close as you can get it is probably good for you. Your life force flows in a state of equilibrium um, because nothing feels out of sync. Um, and if you have balance in your life, um, then it does feel like it's running pretty smoothly. I know for years and years and years, I felt like my life was just, you know, uh, running along like a you know good horse, just taking a nice pace. While balance is necessary to have a satisfying, energetic, and joyful life, only you can determine what balance means to you. So sometimes people are well-meaning um, and tell you what you should do, but you know what things mean to you, so only you know what you want out of your life. Achieving balance requires that you assess what is important to you. The many demands of modern life can push us to make choices that can put us off balance and have a detrimental effect to our habits, relationships, health and career because your boss wants you to work as much as you will so he can get the most production out of you he can your family wants you to be where there with them and spend time with them <coughs> excuse me <coughs> but you also need to do the housework yard work or whatever so um but you also need some time for yourself so that you can nurture yourself so you feel at peace and not too stressed out so, again, you got to make room for all these things in your life, you know, to work, to create, to play, so that you feel in balance. <clears throat> in creating a balanced lifestyle, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, you must ascertain how much time and energy you are willing to devote to the different areas of your life. To do so, Imagine that your life is a house made up of many rooms. Or you can make a pie chart. You know, we did either one with life coach uh, clients. Um, draw this house, give each part of your life its own room. And size each room according to the amount of importance you assign to that aspect of your life. Like I said, you could do a pie chart. You can include family, solitude, Activities that benefit others, healthy eating, indulgences, exercise, and working on yourself. Because, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> we all need some family time. You know, family is your first group of folks that you're around. Um, and we also need alone time. You know, some, I got plenty of alone time during the day and on Sunday afternoon. Um, my husband, he rarely ever gets alone time. He works, then he's here. Um, or he's at his mom's, or he's at my dad's, um, or the store or something. So he went off the other day and had a lone day to himself, and I think that's good because, you know, um, that helps you get your head straightened out. You can think about stuff. <clears throat> Activities that benefit others. We should all be giving loving folks, you know, at least try to be as much as you can. Um, healthy eating. You should eat healthy every day. Your daily day, you know, you should be eating healthy. Now, indulgences, again, uh, like maybe once a week, go out and have dinner, have some dessert, you know, have that Coke. You know, once a week, you know, that's fine. Uh, but what you do every day needs to be something good for you. <laughs> Exercise, you should get some every day, um, and working on yourself, you know. Um, when uh, I was uh, coming up uh, in my 30s and 40s, I was working on myself a lot because 
I knew I had some problems coming where I came from and I had been through some therapy in my 20s um, in some groups but I knew I wasn't where I wanted to be so I went back and then I learned some more things and I'm like I want to help others so then I went to college life coach training and things so that I could do that and you know I, I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life <clears throat> You may discover that certain elements of your life take up an inordinate amount of time, energy, or effort and leave you with few resources to nurture the other aspects of your life. And now I just cut down um, on some of the TV I watch in the morning. Um, there, I have a couple preachers I like to watch, get my fresh manna every day. But uh, one of them has started, you know, having the whole big uh, sermon things and doing these special ones where it's like over two hours. So. I've had to stop doing that because if I sit there for two hours then I can't get everything done I want to get done through the day. So luckily like YouTube and other streaming channels when you stop at a certain point it saves your place. So then I can come back the next day and continue watching where I left off. So <laughs> that's solved that problem of sitting there all morning because I'm like man this is what's taking up because I'm like time and everything like what takes up much of my time that I can't get this done. I used to be able to get this done. Why can't I get it done now? And then the other day I was like, okay, I just sat here for over two hours watching this preacher talk. And yeah, it was interesting and good, but I don't need to do that every day. I can take my hour when I'm eating breakfast and that's good enough. <laughs> you may want to spend less time on these activities and more on the ones that fulfill you. Because we know things, uh, and, and most people got to work to make money, you know. I had to for years and years and years. Um, so, you got to do what you got to do. But, you also need to do something for yourself. You need to do something that makes you feel good, whether that's creating, whether that's, you know, reading or writing or, you know, making art or playing or, you know, whatever it is. You need to do something that makes you happy every day. Schedule some time for it. <laughs> a balanced lifestyle is simply a state of being in which one has time and energy for obligations and pleasures, as well as time to live well and in a gratifying way. Um, and again, you know, um, living well doesn't mean you spend every penny you make, um, but you can be grateful for what you have. <clears throat> With its many nuances, balance can be a difficult concept to integrate into your life because some people have never dealt with that concept. You know, it, coming up in the, the psychological and life coaching world, you know, I was exposed to that a lot. There's a lot of talk about that. But, uh, like, you know, our parents or grandparents may, may never talk about work-life balance or, you know, what it meant to them because, um, like, my grandparents' generation... Um, and their parents' generation even, was uh, coming up through the Great Depression. And they were subsistence living where, you know, um, like my husband's uh, family was digging up potatoes out of the garden. That's what they were having for dinner that night, you know. Um, and his, uh, his grandma cooked a gopher. Um, they, they had caught, they had a trap, and they caught a gopher. And so she cooked the gopher, and that's what they were eating, you know. She said she never cook one again. It was so gross and greasy. But, <laughs> you know, they were subsistence living. You know, so they might not have any, you know, idea of what life, work-life balance is. You know, nowadays we're lucky that we can have that and do that. And it's much more mentally and emotionally healthy for you to do that. <coughs> <coughs> Hmm. Living a balanced existence, however, can help you attain a greater sense of happiness, health, and fulfillment. And let's face it, your life's going to be much better if you have those uh, things in it. <laughs> Think about it. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and share this uh, wisdom so we can spread it around the world. If you want to help me out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.